and <clears throat> let's see what we have here. Okay, the little speaker magnet is still uh, attached. That might just... Okay, we got that off of there. Alright. We got a pretty good centered handle. We can clean this up. <clears throat> we'll come over here to the table. Uh, we showed you about the speaker magnets. You know, we do a lot of scrapping. We have a lot of uh, different things that we uh, have in our, uh, like, just in case we need it pile. You know, these are manufactured. And, you know, I, I don't have a lathe. I could not turn this on down on the lathe. Manufactured items like this, uh, a guy wants to maybe uh, hang on to and save in case you do need it. Uh, center something up the best that you can. We don't have the best job here that I would like uh, compared to these other two handles. But you know that you can... Pour yourself a handle around a piece of pipe with doing open pour casting. Now, <clears throat> we've shown you various and sundry ways to make a spear. You know, the spear handles, the, the short little stabbers, you know, anti carjacking, anti, uh, anti home invasion. Uh, not everybody would be having one of these by their bed or near the console of their car. But, uh, you know, you may catch them by surprise. Do the unexpected. And uh, throw them off balance for a few seconds. That may give you just enough of, uh, just much, enough time to uh, take the advantage and uh, take away their script, take away their plan, hurt them. Now, we've shown you this, and we've shown you, you know, all the, you, you can pour, you can pour an SKS bayonet, and put it in, use it as a spear. Now, they do break off. But, uh, you know, that might be advantageous also. You know, break it off in, in your, uh, in the goblin. Whatever. <coughs> also, we've taken the cotton stripper spindles. And we've shown you how to make a, uh, a simple spear point with those. You know, cut them off square. Thread them, attach them, but you've got a pretty good spear point here. These uh, spindles, you know, we told you where you could get them, but, uh, you know, I know of, I've known fellows who uh, their business is rebuilding cotton strippers, and there are at least a hundred of these per row. So if you got four row cotton stripper, you got four hundred of these at least. I know there's more, but there's it's about the timing and and uh, this may not look like it's worn out, but it is. A brand new one at the John Deere dealership is seventeen dollars. But uh, if you find somebody who rebuilds these. They'll have these in their scrap. You can do lots of things with these. They also make a good punch. They're super hard. 
really very hard. You're going to have to anneal them if you want to drill a hole in them or cut this gear off. Also, we've uh, made spear points with the 50 caliber barreling machine gun cartridge. You can also tap those, thread them, attach them however you want. They're pretty neat. You can also do that. They're simple, they're fast, they don't take a lot of aluminum to make. <clears throat> now, we've already showed you making spear points out of the uh, spud wrench. <clears throat> 